This is the second video about applications of Cauchy's theorem in physics and applied mathematics. Let's see one of its applications in electrostatics, specifically when we're talking about the electric potential in 2D. So we have our function f of z defined this way, phi of xy plus i psi of xy. This is the complex potential function in electrostatics. And phi represents the electric potential, and psi the stream function. The electric potential phi at a point x, y on the complex plane represents the electric potential per unit charge at that point. The electric field E is related to the electric potential this way. So it's basically minus the gradient of the electric potential. In electrostatics, the stream function psi is not as directly interpreted as in fluid dynamics, but it represents the lines of constant potential in the complex potential function f. These lines are hard to draw because f and psi are mappings from the complex plane to the complex plane, and thus their graphs are four-dimensional hypersurfaces. The level curves of psi are orthogonal to the equipotential lines of phi, Both the electric potential and the stream function psi are harmonic functions, so they satisfy Laplace's equation. And this implies that f of z is holomorphic in the domain d. Let's apply Cauchy's theorem now. Consider a circular region d of radius r and centered at the origin on the complex plane. The electric potential phi and the stream function psi are specified on the boundary of the closed curve gamma, which is a circle, and these are functions of another variable called theta, which represents the angle. So phi of theta will represent the electric potential on the boundary, and psi of theta, the stream function on the boundary. Now we can use Cauchy's theorem. So we put zero equals to this line integral. We can expand f this way, and dz this way because we're actually describing just the boundary. So r times e to the power of i theta represents points on the boundary of d. Working on the math here, we can find this equation. And this equation tells us something very important for the function f of z, which is basically that the integrals of phi e to the power of theta and psi e to the power of theta over gamma must be equal Physically, this means that the contribution of the electric potential and the stream function, weighted by the exponential factor e to the power of i theta, balance out over the boundary of the curve, which is a closed path. And this symmetry is something important, because it helps us to predict physical phenomena. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please like it and subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comment section what kind of videos you would like to see. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you're gonna love this one. See you there.